if it's the only way you are going to study. To emails, checking texts, and thinking about what I How are we all doing? Welcome to today's vlog. Do you ever find, let me get in focus, that you really struggle to concentrate? Now, I mentioned before in Cal Newport's excellent book, <laughs> excellent book, uh, Deep work. I nearly forgot what it was then because I'm getting too distracted. I mean, are you distracted by kind of maybe watching a YouTube video right now about cats? Now, my point is that in an ideal world, nobody should ever really look at an omnibook. You know, it isn't the best way to learn. And I remember way back when, kind of 2003, when I first met Bradford Marsalis, him, I, telling him I was working on this Coltrane transcription book and he absolutely me basically for it. He was like, you can't be doing that, you need to be listening. And he is 100% correct. I'm not dedicated enough to be able to sit there now anyway. I used to be, I haven't got the time now to be able to sit there and learn all these Coltrane solos. And so I didn't buy this, I was bought it as a present, but getting hold of the Omnibook and working through the Omnibook is not the worst thing in the world because it enables you to listen to the music. And not necessarily going to that really deep listening that Greg Fishman was talking about in this interview I did with him for a coffee with Dan, but really trying, it's going to be better than not listening to it. Or, I don't know if you find this, I find myself when I'm listening to music, I can listen to kind of like a few minutes and then my mind starts to wander because our brains are geared now towards being in distraction mode. I mean, let's face it, you're thinking now about watching videos with cats or maybe a video like this. What I've done uh, today with this Coltrane Omnibook is I've put a playlist below for Apple Music and for Spotify. And I, I'm gonna spend time and I invite you to join me with it if you've got the Omnibook or another type of Omnibook to put the playlist together and use the time to sit and study the score. So, you know, it's not always practical to be practicing. Perhaps you could be sat in the living room or outside if it's nice weather where you are and just have your headphones on and just be following through what's going on. I suggest if you're at a more advanced level, you keep a pencil nearby. Because what I'll often find is Coltrane will play something, I'll be like, oh, that was good. And I'll literally just note it out in my book and just have it. Now, the re what Bramford was getting at is if it ends there, it will never translate onto the instrument. And he is 100% correct. It will not translate onto your instrument until you can really hear it and then get it down. So one of the things I do try and do is if there's a particular phrase that I really like of Coltrane's playing, or it suddenly bites me and I think, yeah, yeah, I want that, is I'll highlight it and I'll bring the book into the practice room and I'll try and figure out where it is in the book and then I'll try and transcribe it off the re recording. But a lot of the time I cheat, you know, I kind of play it along. What I will do though, and what I have tried to force myself to do, is to then take it and play it in different keys. Try and figure out what is Coltrane doing here at this point? What can I learn from that? How can I then apply that myself? So yes, I agree, omnibooks are not a great idea if it's the only way you study, but if it's the only way you are going to study, then get one and spend time with it, but make sure you get the recordings. You don't just, what I was doing kind of 18 years ago was just blindly play, was it 18? 2003, was it really that long ago? No, it's 15 years ago. Um, <laughs> It's, it's blindly playing along. Well, it was probably 18 years ago when I was actually doing this because I moved on. But trying to go through, uh, don't just go through and blindly play because it won't translate across, but definitely use it as a helpful study aid. And if it means that you are actually going to play the thing and play more saxophone, then it's never going to be a bad thing. But don't necessarily rest on doing that. Make sure you keep a well-balanced idea about what's going on. teacher I'm sure there's been plenty of times and if you are a teacher even that you have played along with people and you you know you were playing along with your teacher think about how you learned to speak English for goodness sake you 
babbled along to your parents, maybe, in other languages as well, of course. Um, listening and copying is all part of learning, so don't, don't neglect doing some of this stuff, but don't do it all the time, I think is what most people are getting at. remember a few weeks ago in the vlog, I better get this way, Katie got mad if I have the washing in the vlog. Uh, you might remember I was talking about how bad the lawn was. Look at it now, it's so, even out there, which doesn't really get the care, in here, it's so lovely and lush. In fact, I only, I've cut it three times in the last week, and it's probably going to need another cut again soon. It's kind of really, really got, really just taken hold. It's been great. So, anyway, um, trying to plan the 400th vlog episode as well as obviously as you saw reading through some of that stuff on the Omnibook it's amazing how many times Coltrane deals with a 2.5 uh, in one bar with a dominant bebop scale that's one of the things I can take away from today you know kind of that use uh, of the dominant bebop ignoring the minor chord I can do all this in a lesson another time <laughs> One of the things I'm doing right Today now... Today is a very special day, the Masters... Masters? Ma One of the things I'm doing right now, apart from going back to some old vlog footage, is trying to go through my titles and trying to see as I approach 400 vlogs, what have I covered, what haven't I covered, what could I cover again better, uh, what's getting the views. I mean, it's hard for me because I want to present you with a vlog rather than kind of a how-to guide. I don't want my channel necessarily to be that. If you want to learn how to play the saxophone, there's loads of stuff on cambridgesaxophone.com. You can even get four free lessons if you're watching this for a new time. I don't talk about it an awful lot deliberately because a lot of the time, I mean, I'm English. We, we're not very good at that as English people. We get a little bit resistant about it. But back to the vlog. What I'm trying to do is just get some decent titles and trying to think of Subjects, like, like I say, I could possibly come back to or do better. I'm not saying I'm not going to give you ideas of what to practice because that's what I think this should be. It should be a way of, of passing on tips. But when it comes to the real meaty stuff, I think you need a teacher to be able to teach you that. That's what I've got at Cambridge Saxophone. I need to order another one of these just while I'm thinking about it. I think I definitely need to get some more gear reviews in, but I like doing them, but oh, are they vlogs really? Who knows? Anyway, gonna get this finished and then we are child free at the moment. My kids have gone up uh, to stay with my parents for a few days before my brother's wedding next week. So I think I'm gonna walk out to our country pub. That's really nice. Are we only going to the pub because I'm vlogging today? If I don't put this on, not sponsored, I will get bitten and eaten alive. <laughs> if Katie doesn't put this on... <gasps> don't sound like Barbara. So one of the reasons we wanted to live in a village was that we could go to a village pub. The problem is we've got young kids, which means we never get to the pub. So no kids, and we're going to the... Okay. Tickled. <laughs> right. So, what do you think, people? The camera or my wife was that dirty old man looking out of his car window. It's so rude. I don't want that. Office. Really? Please I'm keeping this in the vlog. Shopping is not a hobby. Can I finish my vlog? So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you really soon. Bye bye.